Hey everybody, it's Robert Jones. We're doing another video for strawberries. This is part three of the strawberry series. We went to the Arroyo Grande Strawberry Festival yesterday and been inspired. Thought I'd show you guys some more stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make some strawberry shortcake based on an English scone recipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some scones, then we're going to bake some scones, then we're going to make some whipped cream, and we're going to put some macerated strawberries and some whipped cream all on the scone and eat it. Yum. Good deliciousness. It'll be so good. To make this recipe of strawberry shortcake, you're going to need a variety of different ingredients. So let me go through them real quick with you here. I've got two cups of just wheat flour. Sorry, gluten-free people. Uh, I've also got a quarter cup of sugar that we've added to our chopped strawberries. We have about a pound of strawberries chopped up here in quarters, and we put the sugar on and we've let it macerate for about two hours. Macerate? You told me you're combing your hair. Macerated. We've also got a little bit of salt. We've got a third of a cup of butter chopped up. We've got some baking powder, two teaspoons. We've got one egg. We've got two more teaspoons, or excuse me, tablespoons of sugar to go into the scone mix, and we've got some milk. Now, for all you metric people, I'm gonna have the ingredients listed down below so all of you can play along at home as well. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to make the scones. To do this, we're going to use the traditional method for pastry. We're going to cut the butter in, which means what we want to do is we want to have the dough with chunks of fat, which makes it flaky. So it separates the gluten and makes it flaky. So let me show you how to do that. It's not that hard. All you're going to need is a big old bowl. Then you take the flour, put two cups of flour in the bowl. And then we're going to take our other dry ingredients, which is a little sugar. We're going to put the baking powder, not soda, powder, it needs more rising, and a couple pinches of salt because we're using unsalted butter. If you're using salted butter, you do not need to put the salt in unless you want it really salty. And so put that in there and then we're just going to whisk it around just to mix it up pretty well. The key to this recipe is to make sure that once we get the wet ingredients in here, we don't mix it too much because we don't want to develop the gluten, which makes it stretchy. We want it to be light and flaky, kind of like a traditional American Southern biscuit. So we're using a pastry cutter. This one is very old. It was my grandmother's. What it is is it's just a series of blades. If you don't have one of these, you don't need one. You can use two knives and simply just cut the butter. So what we're doing is we just put the butter in the flour. It was cut into pieces already. And then we just take the blade and we just press it through the butter and coat it with flour. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make small pieces about the size of a pea. Seriously, this is a very easy recipe. I mean, it may look like I'm doing a lot here, but I'm not really. Okay, that's it. You don't want to do it too much because we want to keep the butter in small pieces because, like I said, that's going to make, give us the, the flakiness in the scone. We can set that aside. Now, we're going to do two things here. First of all, we're going to make a well. Oh, you can see just chunks of pieces. I think you can see that. We're going to make a well in the middle, which means just make a hole. Use our fork. We're going to have one egg. We're just going to mix that up. And the reason we mix it up is just so it's con consistent. Pour that in the middle like you're making pasta. And then pour about half your milk. Sometimes the humidity and the flour are a little iffy. And just start mixing from the middle. And just add a little bit of the flour at a time. And like I said, we don't want to mix it too much. So we just want to get it mixed together. So now it looks like this, it's kind of crumbly, and I'm going to start mixing it with my hands. So we'll be right back to show you more. So we've got to this crumbly stage, and oh, I forgot to put the vanilla, so I'm going to put that now. I seem to be forgetting a lot of ingredients tonight. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of vanilla, about a teaspoon of vanilla. We'll mix that in just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to show you the next step here. So set that aside. Now I have a, just a plain baking sheet, just thin for the oven, and I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put some no stick aluminum foil on here because I'm feeling really lazy tonight. Let's do it this way. And there's not very much on here, so I'm just going to curve this under. Curve this under. If you have parchment, all the better. This is what I happen to have right now, so that's why I'm using it. Okay, set that aside. So here, let's take our dough 
and we're going to mix this together by hand. And it's looking a little dry. Let me put a tiny bit more milk. You want just enough liquid so that you can bring this together as a ball. I think we're, there we go. Just about there. It's been hot and dry, so the ingredients are a little different than they normally are. Okay, so we're going to dump this out on the table and try to just knead it about eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what they told me on the video. Seven, eight. Okay, that's what we got. Now, try to make a ball. Weird piece in there. Make a disc like this. So we're not really needing it. We're just making it into a disc. And then put it on our thing. And smash it out. This doesn't have to be perfect. Rustic is fine. Noah Galutin would be happy. It's rustic. Okay. Like this. You guys see that? It's just a disc. Just a flat disc. Then we're going to take our knife and we're just going to cut it in wedges. Just like a pie. So let's do let's do six pieces on this. Okay? That's it. We don't want to do too much more to this. We want it to be light and flaky and the butter be delicious and all that kind of stuff. You guys, I keep looking at this and it looks so good. So we've got our scone. It's divided out here. And the last thing we want to do, just take a little bit of milk or cream. And we're just going to use a pastry brush. And we're just going to brush this. The fat in the cream is going to put a nice little coating on here. And it'll make it shiny and brown and GBD. Golden brown and delicious. Doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, going for rustic. And that's it. Okay? So now we're going to put this in the oven, and we'll see you in about 10 or 15 minutes. It's going to bake at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's brown, golden, delicious, and risen. So our scone is in baking right now. we got about 10 or 15 minutes. So I thought I would just show you guys how to make the whipped cream real quick. So what we're going to need is we're going to use one cup of heavy whipping cream, a touch of vanilla, and a couple tablespoons of sugar. That's it. It's that easy. So let me just do this real quick. I'll show you guys how, and I'm sure all this will be on fast forward. A little bit of vanilla, maybe a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. This is only half empty, or half full, depending on your view. Put this in there. It's just a heavy whipping cream. Don't buy whipped topping. Make the real stuff. And a couple tablespoons of sugar. And then, it's really difficult. Crick. Real. Okay. And we're back. Look. Whipped cream. Nice and thick. So I'm going to pop this in the fridge. The scones are almost done. And then we'll have assembly. Oh. And a little ding. Be right back. Okay, you guys. Final step. Check this out. How, whoops, the sliding. How delicious does that look? Mm. So I'm just going to break apart our scone here into some pieces. And then we're going to do a little assemblage. So let me just take a nice big one here and put it on a plate. And let me get rid of this. And then I'll show you how this happens. So take your scone. It's still a little warm. I'd let it cool a little bit more, but, you know, it's TV and we have to make these things happen. Split it down the middle. Split it open. Whoops, not doing too great here. It's all right. Ooh, it is really hot. Then you're going to take some of your berries. Remember our strawberries? Half a cup of sugar. Just let them macerate a little bit. Put these on here. And I don't know about you, but I like a little of the juice. Moisten it up the cake a little bit. Maybe a little bit more strawberries. I'm telling you, this is what I wanted at the festival yesterday. 
And then we have our whipped cream. Take a big dollop of that, put it right on the middle. And then the perfect berry for your friends. What you think? Ooh, that looks good. Can you see it, guys? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Robert Jones. I hope you enjoyed the shortcake recipe and the strawberry shortcake in general. You can find me at Eudaimonius, E-U-D-A-E-M-O-N-I-U-S, on Twitter and everywhere else. Say hi to me on Facebook, Tumblr, all that kind of good stuff. I hope you guys try out these recipes and let me know what else you guys would like to see. Thanks. Bye. And we're rolling. Good deliciousness. It'll be so good.